So tell us about Daredevil. I'm working on a brand new Daredevil series right now called uh, Daredevil End of Days. Uh, the first issue is in the Marvel catalog right now for retailers to order. Uh, it ships in October, and it's an eight-issue story, separate from the regular Daredevil series. Um, Daredevil End of Days, the first issue has like it's a double-sized format, and uh, I'm co-writing it with Brian Bendis, and I'm doing some of the, the art on it as well, and so is Alex Maleev. But the majority of the interior art is by uh, Bill Sienkiewicz and Klaus Janssen. So it's all guys who have done large stints of their career on, on Daredevil, kind of all you know, working together on their A-game. So it's a really fun project. Because, you know, Brian and I grew up with the Daredevil runs of, like, you know, Frank Miller and Klaus Janssen and the, the Daredevil graphic novels by Bill Sienkiewicz. So it's an incredible joy to be working with these, like, you know, legends that, that we learned from and that were influential to us in our formative years on the same project all together. Can you tell us a bit about what happens? About what happens? Um, what doesn't happen in this book? Uh, there's just about every Daredevil character that you can imagine. All of his rogues gallery, uh, just about all of his girlfriends are in it. Um, all kinds of horrible things happen every issue. Um, I, I haven't read the, the more recent Daredevil stories, but I heard that people are really enjoying them and there's a very Silver Age kind of happy, go lucky, whimsical, nostalgic, wonderful feeling in them. And it's very different from that. Uh, you know, when, when we wrote Daredevil, there was, you know, it's very much kind of a crime story book. And this story is probably even going to be shocking to the readers of, of those stories we did. So it's probably going to be twice as uh, ridiculous uh, compared to the, the people who are enjoying the, the current story from, from what I'm told. Um, it touches on, it's, it, it's sort of told through the perspective of the Daily Bugle reporter Ben Urich. He's, he's trying to piece together uh, Daredevil's final years. It's almost sort of like a Citizen Kane story. You know, at the, there's this, there's this uh, central uh, inciting incident at the, at the beginning of the story uh, that, that causes uh, the, the reporter to try to find out this mystery of, of what happened with Daredevil and who was involved and why it happened and what a, a certain word, there's a certain mystery to a certain word, kind of like in Citizen Kane, that he's going through everybody who possibly knows Daredevil and trying to figure out what this riddle is. And in the meantime, you kind of see the effects of everyone in Daredevil's life, uh, you know, his girlfriends, his ex-wives, his best friends, his enemies, what the effect of, of just knowing Daredevil was in their life and what the fallout of it was. And what was it like putting your own spin on uh, such an iconic character? Well, it was a joy because when I was, uh, I read the Frank Miller, Klaus Janssen Daredevil stuff when I was a child. So um, that was, you know, when I, when I first started working for Marvel, as my first work for them was as a writer on Daredevil. And that was kind of the interesting challenge was how do you be, you know, respectful to the rich history that the character has and what, what the creators before you have brought to it. But there's a twofold challenge in that you also want to bring something new to it and hopefully add something that only you could do, you know, otherwise why do it? So there's that interesting balance, you know, of that, you know, trying to be respectful to the continuity and just, you know, what's integral to the character, but maybe finding, you know, uh, you know a different perspective on things. Um, that's kind of the fun of it. 